You're just hanging out, sweetheart. You're just hanging out. Hmm? Little juvie. Hmm? I'm still going to need something. I'm going to need another one. You need to bring two up, though. Because you have two, because then I can stack one on top of the other, and then I've got to step to it. Okay. So, th what's this? Is this a courtyard? Yeah. Okay. And it, does it new, usually have a door open, or frequently have a door open? Yeah. Okay. So she got in that way. Can't stand up. Bats can't stand up. Yeah. Their legs are rotated 180 degrees at the hips, so the knees face backwards and the soles of their feet face up, which which helps them hang and take off but it doesn't help them, um, they can't stand up. They haven't got the lower body musculature to stand. Um, their legs are frail, fragile, but they're really good in extension. So when they're hanging, it's good, and they can climb around a tree, but they can't stand up. So they can't get a wing stroke in off the ground. And because their wingspan's so big, they can't circle enough to get some height to get out of these things. So courtyards, light wells, balconies are all traps. Um, She's very young, and so she's inexperienced. And so she just goes, oh, woe is me, beautiful girl. Uh, I don't know, it could be a boy. Could they, they could be a little there, in there. Um, and they just go, oh, woe is me, I don't know what to do, so I'm just going to hang here. Is there anything that we can do? Not really. I mean, you could put a net over it, but then it'll catch every bit of flying debris, it'll ca and you need to be able to do stuff. It's not common. You may never get it ever. Well, it's common in some places, but there's no trees around, so. Well, the thing is, we don't want, I mean, some people say, well, let's put a trellis up, yeah. and then they can climb out, but we don't actually want them to climb out because they've usually hit their head when they crash land in there. So we'd rather catch them, bring them into care, see how they go, rather than them escape and fly off to the nearest tree and die because they've smacked their head so badly. When you're a bat and fly headfirst in the dark and navigate by sight, mm. these ones navigate by sight, they've got big eyes. Mm. Um, if you smack into anything, you're pretty much bound to hit your head somewhere mm. in it. If they land on their chest, instead of smacking their head, they often um, break their spine. Um, if they land on their head, they often break their collarbones. Yeah. So. Okay. No? I know. You're going to big wings me? Come on. And because they feed a hook, you have to unhook them, you can't just pull them down, otherwise you break their toes. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, darling. Come on, love. Mm, it's all good now. Bed for her. Her, him. penis there which is I can't it's a dag I think but it's a girl it's a girl tell me about things hmm? tell me about it tell me about it okay here we are come on tell me what are you moving you're moving all your bits yeah you are good girl you've got a nick to ribbit that's a bat fly They've got the, see how she's got lovely teeth? Yeah, yeah it's got beautiful teeth. She's got a bat fly on her, but I can't get it there. Hey! Some glucose gel, which helps combat shock. Sugar, yeah. Cells in um, shock. Yeah, I know she's scared of it until she'll taste it. 
You're going to taste it a bit or you're going to refuse to taste it. <laughs> That's funny. Sometimes they flatly refuse to taste it, but it can be absorbed off the gum, their gums. So I'm just going to put it into her cheek pouch until she decides that it tastes good. She's very, very quiet. Oh, she's quiet. She smacked her head and she's possibly been here. Um, she might have been out in the um, courtyard for a day or two. Okay, you want to take photos? Close up. Oh, sweetheart. Good, 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 good. There we are. You're moving all your bits, so... Take you home, see how you go. Aren't you a cutie? What sort of shop is the, this a warehouse for? Clothing. For what sort of, what's the brand? I was just wondering what the name of it was so that I could call her something. Oh, Inku. Inku? Yeah. Okay, Inku. Inku? Inku? You can use her as your mascot, okay? Inku. There we are, let's put the... Okay, too easy. And her name is Inku. Oh. Inku. 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 Oh my goodness. She's only a juvenile. She's probably about 16 weeks. Do you know how she would have gotten in there? Yeah, in the courtyard oh. at the top. And then she would have crawled in through the door when it was open sometime and nobody would have noticed. Yeah. She's just a juvenile. And her name's Inku. 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 Okay? She is gorgeous, isn't she? Bloody gorgeous. They all are. All flying foxes. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. Oh, good. Bye. Hello, little girl. Hello. So this is Inku. We're going to call her Inky. And she's got a... Oh, good, some cranky. That's good. I quite like that. I thought you were very quiet. But you've... On the trip, you've um, decided to um, get your cranky up. I know. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Not too much wrong with that. Well, she's still very quiet, so we'll just see. Come on then. There we are, good girl. See, she's got a neck to rivet. See the little spidery thing? Oh, okay. Yeah, they are. You've got to crush them with your finger. They're not spiders, but they um, are parasites on the bats. And, the interesting. Inter well, in wet weather, usually, is you get the more they hatched. You going to try that? No, we're back to mute defiance again. Um, they are individual to each species, individual species. So this is a grey-headed flying fox, Nycteribid. Good girl. What good. are you calling it? Nycteribid. I'll show you how to spell it. It's N-Y-C-T-E-R-I-B-I-I-D. Nick to ribbon. mentioned in, in training. Bat flies. Bat flies. Okay. There we are. You put that into there. You're moving all your bits, sweetheart. You show me. Hmm? Yeah? Hmm? Go. Hmm? Okay. Can I have your back then, sweetie? Right. I just like to see how they move, give them a chance to show their stuff, what they've done. Here we are. All right. Now, actually, good. Bit of feist going on. What's what is holding? Oh, you're holding on. 
You're holding on down there. Right, okay. Okay, you might just get a wait since she's being this crunchy. <laughs> you are. Like six fifty six minus two oh two, six fifty four minus two hundred, four fifty four. Four fifty four. Here we are. There we are. Miss Trouble. Well, I'm glad to see a little bit more feist out of her. Yeah. She's quiet and she's completely enclosed. So she'd be from the um, Centennial Park colony, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. She's only We'll get a forearm on her and see how old she is. Where are your shoulder blades? There we are. She feels dehydrated. See, she's all enclosed. Still in there. Give me this one while you're at it. She's one fifty. So she's she's off my chart. Uh -huh. She's she's over six months if she's hundred and fifty. Okay, do you want to grope her nipples and see if she's got, what sort of nipples she's got, whether she's got, I've had a baby nipples. Yeah, if you can't feel big ones, then she's juvenile. Juvenile to sub-adult. Well, your juvenile sub-adult cusp. You're a very pretty girl. Now, are you going to, Rest up while we go and do some work. Okay, let's put her on the chaise. There we are. These are big bats. So I only do bats. Well, I, only, I do other animals by accident. Like when they, well, look, people who um, call in and say they've got a bat in their chimney. It's always a bird, right? But um, you can't send a non-bat rescuer if the mop member of public thinks it's a bat. So I get there. Oh, sometimes it's a possum. Oh, yeah. So, so I do things by accident, or I've got long poles and things like that. So if somebody asks me to help them rescue something, I've got equipment. Anyhow. Thank you. Thank you for being my lackey over the, the ladder. You may put it down now. There we are. <laughs> See? I know. I'm like that. That's okay. Thank you. In Q. Is that how to say it? In Q. I N C U. Okay. In Q. Okay. Bye. Bye, little In Q. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, it's, like, it's like a cow cutie. Cow cutie. <laughs> it's out there, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Here, I'll show you. And her name is Inku. 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 She's only a juvenile. She's probably about 16 weeks. Do you know how she would have gotten in there? Yeah, in the courtyard oh. at the top. And then she would have crawled in through the door when it was open sometime and nobody would have noticed. Yeah. Okay. Is it easy to catch? Oh, yes. Except once you're tall enough to do it, yes. Um, so I had somebody bring me a ladder. She's just a juvenile. And her name's Inku. Thank you. Thank you. Okay? She is gorgeous, isn't she? Bloody gorgeous. They all are. All flying foxes. Okay? Did you got a photo, did you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. Oh good. Bye. Mega batty. I'm Meg. These are big bats. So I only do bats. 
well, only I do other animals by accident. Like when they, well, look, people who um, call in and say they've got a bat in their chimney. It's always a bird, right? But um, you can't send a non-bat rescuer if the member of public thinks it's a bat. So I get there. Oh, sometimes it's a possum. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. so I do things by accident or I've got long poles and things like that. So if somebody asks me to help them rescue something, I've got equipment. Anyhow. 